Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to give you tips on how to make your house smell fresh and good naturally. Hello lovelies, I'm Trisha. I make cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle videos and sometimes I post vlogs too. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Click the red button down below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at lovetrisha12 and on my Facebook account, it's the Love Trisha 12 Today, I'm going to share five ways on how to make your house smell good by just using natural products. There are no toxic chemicals involved and you don't even have to spend much or spend anything at all. Plus, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you extra tips on how to keep your house smelling good all the time. So, let's start the video! The first tip I have for you is to sprinkle your carpet with baking soda. Baking soda is a natural deodorizer so it's a great way to remove bad smells on basically anything. But what I love to do is to add drops of my favorite essential oils in it. It's very simple. Just add about 10 drops each of your favorite essential oils and mix it with the baking soda. I only used half a cup of baking soda and I picked rosemary and peppermint essential oils. Just sprinkle the baking soda on your carpet floor and I even love sprinkling it on our couches to keep it smelling fresh too. Be sure to let it sit for at least 15 minutes for it to work. It's better if you can leave it overnight or for a few hours. Then after letting it sit, you can now start vacuuming the baking soda off the carpets and the couches. You know that I love to use baking soda in taking out bad smells in our home. If you haven't tried it yet, I encourage you to give it a try because it really works. By the way, I also made a video about using baking soda in cleaning my fridge. I will put the link down below for you to check it out too if you're interested. I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. Just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. The next tip is to wipe clean your rubbish bin every time you take out your trash. I know so many people who are grossed out with even touching the lid of the rubbish bin or its body. Since the rubbish bin is a large part of the kitchen, I always make sure that the outside surface of the bin is always wiped clean. And that's also the reason why I'm never grossed out just even touching the lid or its body because I know for myself that I regularly wipe it. Just don't forget to use a disposable wipe or paper towel in wiping it and of course your favorite cleaning spray. Now, even though you have already wiped the outside surface, the rubbish inside still smells bad and gross. So my tip for you is to use baking soda again 
The same mixture that we did earlier, or if you don't have essential oils, just the baking soda will do. And you can pour the baking soda on the bottom of the bin before placing your rubbish bag in it. The baking soda will absorb all the bad smells from your rubbish quickly. The next thing that you can do on how to keep your house smelling fresh and clean is by simply letting the outside come in. Let all the fresh air come inside your house by simply opening your windows or even your doors. This is what I love to do in the morning, especially when the sun is shining beautifully outside. I love hearing the sound of the birds chirping outside, the silence from nobody, and just the fresh smell of air. You can also place indoor plants in your home. I know this is already a trend today. I'm guilty of buying artificial plants because I cannot yet take care of another living thing right now. But I'm gonna do it in the near future, I hope. So many of us are now starting to grow plants and I love seeing people doing it. It's actually one of the very few trends that I actually like because it's promoting a healthy lifestyle. Next is to replace your sheets. I know it's a very simple thing to do, but this very small thing will actually do a lot, especially inside your bedroom. Be sure to replace your bed covers regularly. I do it once a week because your sheets can actually accumulate a lot of tiny stuff which we can't actually see, like dead skins and dust mites, and some of them we can only smell for a few days after sleeping in our bed, like oils from our skin, saliva, and even sweat. The last tip that I have for you is to simmer some herbs. You know how it is when your mom is cooking your favorite food at home and you can smell it from your bedroom and you rush down to the kitchen because you're too excited to eat your favorite meal? That's how powerful cooking is in spreading smell. So if you're cooking bad smelling but delicious food, I'm sure your neighbors would notice it. If you don't want to cook anything or any meal at all, you should try simmering some herbs. You can simmer any herbs of your choosing. This is actually one alternative, especially if you don't have a diffuser and if you don't want to buy one. You can just fill your pot with 3 quarters of water and add in your favorite herbs or as for me, I added a few drops of my favorite essential oils and slices of lemon. Now, let's say you want to spend extra money to keep your home smelling fresh and clean. Then you can try these three more ways that I have for you. First is to diffuse your favorite essential oils. You can choose any diffuser and essential oils that you want. Diffusing essential oils is a good way to prolong the pleasant smell inside your house. Aside from that, some of these oils have health benefits as well, so they are definitely non-toxic. I love diffusing in our living area during the daytime and in our bedroom before we go to sleep. It helps me stay calm and have a good night's sleep. You can also buy reed diffusers or scent diffusers. These are liquid air fresheners which has reeds or sticks in it. These reeds or sticks absorb the liquid scent inside the bottle and release the fragrance into your home. I have one of these in our living area and one in our bedroom as well. way to keep your house smelling fresh and clean is to spray. Spray your favorite scent or you can use even disinfectant sprays with flavored scents 
to hit two birds with one stone. I love using this Clan 20. It's a disinfectant spray with a lavender smell. I use this after I'm done cleaning our house. So there you have it guys. I hope you liked this video and if you do, be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also share to us what you usually do to keep your house smelling fresh and clean. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, turn on the bell icon to keep you notified every time I post a new video. And you can follow me on my Instagram and Facebook page. The links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!